Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to uh, connect the camera, I mean using the OpenCV. So that let's say I mean uh, in the upcoming video tutorial so that whenever we create a face recognition uh, application or you can say the object detection application here or you can say the human detection, I mean the application using the OpenCV library then we will be needing the OpenCV camera and now in this video tutorial this video tutorial is basically specifically about how to connect I mean or you can say how to open the camera using the OpenCV so this tutorial is also really important now before starting this video tutorial let me tell you that if someone has not watched the previous video tutorial in which basically we learn how to uh, download and install or you can say configure the OpenCV with the Android Studio or you can simply say that in Android Studio project then how we can connect uh, the OpenCV module or OpenCV library to our OpenCV uh, and OpenCV application I mean which is basically our Android Studio project okay so if anyone is has not watched that video tutorial then please go and watch that video tutorial first okay and in the previous video tutorial we have connect our Android Studio project OpenCV application to the OpenCV library and just for the testing then we here on the main activity we check if the OpenCV loader dot init debug then it basically means that the OpenCV is configured or connected successfully I mean I hope you have watched that video tutorial if someone has not watched that video tutorial then let me tell you again please go and watch that video tutorial first otherwise you will not be able to understand uh, the things which we are doing in this video tutorial okay so yeah let's start so first of all uh, what we are going to do inside our Java we have this main activity .java file and let's go to the res I mean to the resource activity main.xml now here we will have a hello world text view just move that text view and make sure to change this constant layout to the relative layout also let me show you guys the preview okay now what we are gonna need is the OpenCV camera I mean we, you can just type java camera view this one okay or view.opencv.android.java camera view match parent match parent but instead of that you can also use fill parent fill parent okay and the important thing is to give it id so the id for this will be let's say my camera view or you can say application camera view so yeah now come here to the main activity and what we're going to do now is here we can say i mean we have to cast or you can say connect that uh, java camera view here okay so we can say java camera view and then here inside our own create we can say java camera view equals to java camera view find view by id or dot id dot my camera view then uh, we can just say java camera view i mean we have to set the visibility for it so set visibility so surface view dot visible and we have to set the cv camera listener so we can say java camera view dot set cv camera view listener and the context is basically our main activity dot this or instead of this you can just remove this main activity just type I mean it means the same okay you type like this I mean this is the basics I hope you have knowledge about this so here you can see it basically uh, displaying this error so we have to implement some important methods here so just come here at the top and here you can just type implement camera bridge view case camera bridge view case cv camera view listener 2 so once you uh, write this you can just click here okay and this uh, then this red bulb you will see here okay just click here and here you can see it implement methods now select all these methods and click ok and it will implement all these methods okay which is on camera view started on camera view stop on camera frame and on pointer capture change this is basically the frame that we will get 
or you can say that we will use, uh, I mean, later on in the upcoming tutorials when you will be developing the face recognition application or other uh, applications. Uh, so we will be needing that frames just to, I mean, like let's say if you are developing an application for gestures on which basically I am currently also working just to make it uh, work good. So once we I mean to deduct basically the human gesture and then by your gestures you can uh, perform operations on your computer or on your laptop. So I mean this is just the example which I give to you guys okay. So anyways I mean now the next thing is here can say mat rgba comma rgbat now we need a base loader okay so here we can say base loader call back base loader call back equals to new base loader call back on manage connected just select this one method and press ok make sure to put a semicolon here at the end and now in here what we gonna do is in say switch and pass this integer type status to it ok status so case one base loader callback dot success if it is successful then what we gonna do in that case we have to enable the camera view okay which is basically our java camera view dot set enable sorry not this i mean it is enable view okay make sure to pass the current context to it which is our main activity dot this and the other case is i mean the default case which we will set for that make sure to write here break and this is our case and then the second one is so first of all let's just cut this control x okay and then put these two curly braces and inside that paste that code here okay now we can add our default Yes, and default case will be cut this from here and paste it inside this and let's break this case now comes the important point i mean these methods which is on camera view started which basically means whenever the application start and the camera is started so in that case we have to get the width and height and to display it on the screen basically so for that what we're gonna do is we can say mrgba equals to new mat height comma width comma cv type dot cv at uc4 put a semicolon at the end on camera stop uh, what we're gonna do is we can just say mrgba dot release and then our important function will use uh, on camera frame here basically we display the like let's say the application is running okay so the camera will deduct the background let's say i mean by using the phone camera so we have to uh, display that on the mobile phone screen so that the user can see how the camera is working okay so I mean just to get the frames okay using this input frame so here we can say input mrgba dot input frame dot rgba mrgba t mrgba dot t Core dot flip now basically this code I mean when we say mgbart and core dot flip it is basically uh, I mean we are now adding these line of code uh, for the portrait mode I mean if the user moves the uh, phone in a portrait mode horizontal mode you can say 
or if he turn its back on a vertical form i mean his phone so the camera will move automatically according to the phone uh, location or you can say uh, in which direction the phone is moving okay if the phone is in horizontal uh, direction then it will be like in a i mean the camera will detect the picture or you can say the video in a horizontal or if it is in vertical form then it will uh, detect the picture in vertical form you will see it when we will test the application now okay mrgba dot t comma mrgba t comma one image image proc img proc image proc dot resize mrgba t comma mrgba t mrgba dot size now here we have to return the mrgba t so yeah we are now ready our uh, camera opencv camera is connected successfully i mean we have implemented successfully on our main activity now the important thing is basically the uh, permission i mean we have to uh, write here the permission so without it the application will not open the camera the opencv camera so go to the app i mean to the manifest android manifest.xml file and just press uh, i mean i will provide these permissions in the description down below or you can also check the pinned comment for, for this tutorial this permission will be given so you can just copy that permission and paste it here in your android manifest.xml which is basically for i mean for the camera permission basically okay phone permission for using the phone camera so yeah once you do this let's say if the user minimize the app or close the application on pause on resume method i hope you know, uh, know about that which is for basically minimizing the app destroying the app okay so in that case we have to write some specific code just to relaunch the application in case if the user close it or something like that i mean an accident type of action occur okay so anyways we can just say on destroy so in this case we can say if java camera view not equals to null then we can say java camera view now this time you have to disable the view okay the user i mean if the cache not that it will destroy also in case i mean on the on pause method we have to perform the same action we have to first check if java camera view is not null then disable it okay and then the important one is on resume that is let's say if the user minimize the application and then relaunch or you can say uh, maximize the app again i mean go to the application again hope you understand i mean what i am saying saying now here we have to write this okay if i mean the same code which we just type here so just paste that code here and if you want you can just comment this code from here because we do not need it anymore i mean we have already passed that there and one thing which we need to do is here we can say bash loader call back dot on manager connected bash loader call back dot success and then in the end else statement if the open cv is not working we can say open cv so it is from capital o, open cv open cv loader dot init async open cv loader dot open cv version now in my case my open cv library version is 342 okay but if i just search from these versions this version is not available okay and many people in the previous tutorial asking that hey uh, we have a 3.5.0 and studio version and that version for the open cv library is not available so just go with any latest version if i uh, mean you have just like in this case i have 3.4.2 version okay and now it is not available here in the current versions so i will just go with the latest i mean in the latest according to here I mean 320 and then 330 okay there is no other one or 340 here you can see it 
so just go with the latest version whatever it is okay or you can also go with this one uh, it will display I mean according to your need like uh, I have this library in my Android studio I mean in my PC for the OpenC library so here it will be displaying like this or there are other versions also okay which they give it by default so just go with your own but if this is not available like let's say 3.4.2 3.4.2 it is available in my case but in your case if it is not available just go with the latest one okay so i will just go with this one 3.4.2 as it is available okay according to my opencv library version so anyways just do it comma this comma this loader callback and now we are ready to test our application so connect your real android phone to your laptop or pc just for testing the uh, application okay so i'm connecting my phone here you can see it oppo oh, firebase and wait a second first make sure to put a semicolon here at the end okay and once you do it then now let's test the application on real android phone so wait for it Gradle build is running and now it will install the application in your phone. Installing APKs. Once the application is run successfully on your real Android phone, you will get this screen. I mean, this is the application which is launched. It seems that your device does not support camera. It I already told you that, I mean, this dialog box basically means that we have to allow permission to this application to use our phone camera okay so just you can just close this application i mean minimize it or close it okay and this is the application which we install okay here you can see it open cv application just go to the permissions for this application i mean from the permissions you can just allow the permission to it to use this camera okay just enable this so i just enable it and now if i go back and launch the application again and here we go here you can see it okay I mean you can see the desktop if I rotate my phone here you can see the rotated view okay here you can see it so yeah I mean this is really incredible so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we are going to work on the fast recognition feature using the OpenCV library. So we will be doing that.